various options we had, um, various composers we were looking at, slightly less well-known composers we were looking at. And then we came across the Tanev trio and couldn't believe what we'd found. I mean, it's a real, a really wonderful piece. And then the Rinsky Korsakov seemed like an obvious um, thing to go with it, in a way, because it, again, it's not very well known. N not known at all. I didn't know it existed before we actually looked into um, repertoire for this disc. And so, yes, and we all immediately fell in love with the Tanev, particularly at first, and then subsequently the Rinsky Korsakov, and it was, seemed obvious. come from, but I think the, the styles are actually very different, even though they're both recognisably Russian. The Tanev, to me, it's not just a sort of Russian-sounding piece in the way that the Tchaikovsky trio is, or the Rachmaninoff trio is. There's, some, there's something a little bit more sort of rarefied about it, and it, it, to me it feels as though it might come as much, in a way, from a German tradition. Not necessarily in the way that it sounds, but just the way it's put together. Uh, the, the music itself, it's very cleverly put together. He relies on little motives instead of big, I mean there are a lot of nice big tunes, but it's, it's, it sort of has a sort of Brahmsian logic to it at times, which you don't necessarily find in the Rizky Korsakov. And of course Tanyev was a very um, clever man, I mean he was a polymath really, he did so many different things and he had influence over Rachmaninoff, you know the second Rachmaninoff symphony was dedicated to him. And as you say he, he um, was very good friends with Tchaikovsky and they had a very fruitful relationship. His criticism probably stems from the fact that he might have seen a sort of Brahmsian element to it, maybe. Because, of course, Tchaikovsky did not like Brahms at all. <laughs> um, loathed his music, I think, on the whole. And so if he saw a Brahmsian working within the Tanya, that's the, what he would have been criticising, for sure. But for me, and I think for us as a trio, that's one of the things we love about it. It, is that it's not, even though it's in a line of, of Russian piano trios, it's, it's sort of unlike the other famous Russian trios, I think, um, because of the close working. I mean, that's not to say that Tchaikovsky and Ratmanov don't have that, but it's, it seems much more Germanic in a way. Concert, um, a coffee concert in November of this year. We're doing Schumann F major trio and the Ravel trio. And I'm sure there are other concerts I just can't remember, but yes, there are, <laughs> there are others in London, but we have a lot of them around the country and uh, a few abroad as well.